This fear isn't so much if you're if they're liked or disliked or they try to manipulate you, but it's just the internet. It's not like they're in your neighborhood or your city and they're actually a threat to you. And I thought about this on live video. Like I'm not going to be able to say what I want without getting reported because someone got offended. But I'm like, so what? Because so far, nothing's happened to me. Now, there is a point when words do hurt. Like the Roger, aka the boring one, and the porn dispatcher. I'm not sure if he meant to say any of this stuff, but he just says some stuff in a comment. And he causes this Heather-faced person to break up with him again. I mean, if a person like that says a bunch of stuff to you, now, did he really mean it? Because if he did, if he did, is he really a true friend? It's like on the internet when you're playing games, and one guy says, you suck, and then maybe you decide to say stuff back to him. Should I stoop to that guy's level and say something back to him? And it's just like these people, like Brett Keane, he leaves live video, and then he comes back a couple weeks later saying, I was depressed. I was having some emotional times in my life. So why did he leave and then come back a couple weeks later? Or this Billy Big Gun guy on YouTube leaves and some lady gives out the information that he, his wife, and his son scammed a bunch of people out of money all the way back from 2002. And he leaves YouTube three times. I mean, I don't think this guy is even a threat anymore because he's been out of jail for over a year. And the first time I think he left because of the fact he couldn't handle the pressure. But once you get thousands of subscribers, you're like a mini celebrity. You're going to have to deal with and handle with all this pressure and all these people that either hate you or like you. And I just think it's kind of stupid then just to leave and cash in your chips like you can't handle it or something.